All right, well, welcome back to the Player of the Year countdown, where you, the viewer, got the chance to cast your vote on one athlete to receive Player of the Year honors. We continue our countdown as we check out players 10 through 6 in our countdown coverage. Number 10 on the list is George with senior quarterback Tandem Smith. Smith was named Player of the Week after his performance against Fort Chiswell. The Maroons defeated the Pioneers 55 to 38. Smith threw for the, excuse me, he threw for a bunch of scores and over 220 yards. Plus, he ran it in for three scores as well. And he talks about the role Coach Brandon Harner and the George with coaching staff have played in his high school career. It's been great, you know, speaking of Coach Horner, he, he's helped us so much develop and just got us where we need to be. I mean, he's the best, as I know. He's the best coach I've ever had. He's so smart. He breaks plays down, you know, frame by frame, and he knows what he's talking about. Uh, coming up with Coach Horner the last four years and Coach Hensley and all the other coaching staff, we've just got this bond, and we just help each other out any way we can. Next up in the number nine spot is a name we know all too well, the reigning Player of the Year, Christiansburg senior quarterback Tanner Evans. Evans received Player of the Week honors in his team's 44-20 win over Pulaski County. Evans put up over 250 yards and four touchdowns. He talks about what it means to put that Christiansburg jersey on while representing not only his team, but the community that means so much to him. Trying to just leave it all out there for the senior year and just show what I truly am to the community and to the school. To put on the number four and just represent my sister's best friend, it just means everything to me. Just knowing that the New River Valley especially gets slept on from like the whole rest of the state. Just knowing that we can go out and show people up and just really show who we are. Christiansburg in general means the world to me. Just to all the supporters, to the administration at the school coming up to you, oh, good game last week. And the people in the school just high-fiving you when you come by just means the world. Now on to number eight in the poll, a dynamic duo from the new look Allegheny Cougars High School football team. Senior wide receiver Purcell Turner and sophomore quarterback Des Jordan, both players winning player of the week honors after defeating Floyd County 61 to 18. Here's what they had to say about each other as teammates and how they impact the field as well. What's it been like having Purcell on this team? You know, it's been great. You know, he's a, a great, uh, teammates of the team. I mean, he contributes a lot to the team. I learned that when he leaves that I got to take over how he does and try to lead like he did. What is it like having Des as your quarterback? He, he might be a sophomore, but he is not. His, his mentality is not a sophomore. He has a more mature mentality than other people in his grade. He knew that he was going to be good for us for the next couple years and it brought me more peace knowing that he really brought to the table. Sitting at the number seven spot is Glenver Jr. outside linebacker Peyton Deal, who came up big on defense in his team's seven to three win over Cave Spring. Deal came up big with nine tackles in the contest, along with two interceptions as well. Deal speaks about his team's bond and the importance of being a two way player. I think we've built a really tight connection and the friendships that have came from it. I think that is shown on the field through games like Friday when it takes team efforts to gut out a win. And you have to be in a, in a certain mindset to be able to go both ways. You can't just, I mean, you got to be there for your team. Like they have to be able to count on you to go both ways. And we have, we have plenty of people that can go both ways and be there all game. I would say we have a special connection that, I mean, on the field it shows and then outside of school too and outside the field we're there for each other too and it's able to make us be able to relate to each other and just know how to motivate each other and build each other up and make each other better. Number six on the list is Salem senior running back Peyton Lewis. Not only did he rush for over 100 yards, he also had four touchdowns in the Spartans shutout victory over Hidden Valley. For Lewis, his high school football career has been all about facing adversity head on no matter how tough the obstacle may be. I would just say, you know, this, you know, don't be worried, you know, everything's going to be taken care of, you know, this is, in, in the long run, you know, it's going to make you better, you know, because I feel like after my injury sophomore year, I feel like it's made me a better person on and off the field, and, you know, I feel like I wouldn't be the same person I am today without those injuries, so I bless, you know, God for putting me in that position, because it's a test at the end of the day, and, you know, I didn't fall short, and I uh, didn't flinch. Well, that is it for number six. 
excuse me, 10 through 6. Tomorrow we'll check out the final five players, including who you all voted for as this year's player of the year. You definitely won't want to miss that. This is the Hardy's Friday Night Blitz Player of the Year Countdown for WFXR Sports. I'm Ryan Moy.